something else that's really good that I am just so stoked about. 80 years of Batman. That's eight decades. That's almost a century. Yeah, you're right. Almost a century. Okay. And in 1939, Batman came out in Detective Comics 27. And 80 years later, he's going so freaking strong. They're going to be flashing this light across the globe. This is a big deal because they're going to be flashing the bat signal worldwide at these major cities. And this is going to happen on Saturday, September 21st. We have... Tokyo, Australia, Berlin, Barcelona, London, Sao Paulo, New York, Montreal, and Mexico City before finally concluding in Los Angeles. So cool, man. Batman means so much to a lot of people. What does Batman mean to you, Ryan? Oh, man. Batman's kind of like kind of like my gateway into comics in a way. Right? Like, I came in through the movies, you know, and uh, Batman was the only real uh, movie or superhero movie that I was really in love with as a kid. So that was kind of... I went from the uh, from the movie to the uh, the graphic novels in college. Actually, I didn't get into comics until way late. I remember the moment my dad handed me Dark Knight Returns. He's like, "This is all you need." He just gave it to me. He's like, "You need to read this." Just and I'm like, "What? What is it?" He's like, "Just read it." Batman, Superman fight at the end. Oh, who wins? Read it. That's all it took, man. And man, I went to bed in Robin pajamas like growing up. Like I had a cape and everything. And like Batman, it, it set me on that path to just enjoy superheroes and to get into such a cool community. I, I appreciate them, and I'm so stoked to see 80 years go by and to be enjoying them for decades to come. You did Robin? Oh, yeah. I had a, my brother and I dressed up as Batman and Robin, but I was, I was Batman. Of course. Oh, my gosh. I want to see some pictures of that. I hope you can put that in the edit if you can. There's photos. I'm sure I can find <laughs> something. Oh, my gosh. You, and this guy is a huge Batman fan. Yeah, I mean, I, I didn't have anyone introduce Batman to me. Like, I didn't have a father figure to give me a Batman because I was the only one who was into comics in my whole family. So, for me, it was more organically discovering it. So, um, when I eventually did, though, I mean, I don't know. It was exciting to see a hero who didn't have superpowers and used his wits, really, and yet could beat up anybody and defeat anyone. Absolutely. And you also have some dope Batman keys, don't you? I do, I do. And we should dis- we'll should we discuss that at the later end of the show, that the, the cameras are off. And I can get into a cool book um, and uh, really give you a backstory on us pushing the market in 2015 on a really big book. Yeah, if you want to hear the guru talk about a Batman one, you got to stay tuned to the after show, which is the audio portion only available on SoundCloud, Stitcher, iTunes, and Spotify. 